to this lesson of Horse With No Name. This is again a very simple song. In fact, it uses the exact same two chords that you've already learned with Beat It, and those are E minor and D major. And so the whole song just goes back and forth between the two, and it just goes to show you that with two very simple chords, you can create a very different dynamic and a very different feeling, um, a very different kind of song, and to two totally different genres using these same two chords back and forth. It makes you think about what you could do using these same two chords. It seems like the possibilities are just endless. So let's jump into the song. I'll have a karaoke track that you can play along with. And once again, I just want you to go back and forth between the two, get really comfortable with these chords. In fact, by the end of this lesson, you really should be an expert on both of these, the E minor and the D, as well as transitioning between the two. And that'll be really good for laying your foundation for learning future chords. If you do get bored with just using the two chords, then you can try using different strumming patterns. Um, meaning the way you know that you're strumming up and down or you could even try some finger picking which I teach a little bit later on in the course um, but if that's too complex then don't worry about it um, but overall it's a long enough song that you should have enough time to play around with and get comfortable with these chords the other thing you could try too is doing different chord variations which I talk more about later in the course too but that's where you simply take notes off or add notes So that you get a different feeling uh, using these same basic chords. So anyway, just start playing the song and as you get bored, try to mix it up with different strumming patterns and also different chord variations.
that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.